running the race, running the race. No meter. We were we were terrible people with trousers. Yeah. The only thing that changed was the length of our trousers. We were terrible. His cloning is fake. People living in bitterness, people living in all kinds of marginalization. They can't even accept that the body of Christ, that God was so merciful to save people. Hey, how come? Ah! Oh. Hey. All of those things are on the road. Because true holiness evolves when we enter into the pool of the love of God. You will not want to serve any other thing else but God. If your own came out of a set of rules, where you are, you are in a charismatic zoo. <laughs> Thus said the customs. No, no. <laughs> it's an organization that is saying it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Alright, let's go on with that scripture. Let's go on. There's a place I'm going to. I'm headed somewhere. He said what? Okay, next verse. Next verse. Having predestinated in order for us to arrive at the place where he wants us to be, he set some things in motion by an act of his authority. He predestinated us unto adoption as children. I am all by Jesus Christ unto himself according to his good, uh, to the good pleasure of his will. Now, what you are not seeing in that scripture is that the first things were written last and the last things were written first. First of all, his driver is his will. But he arrived at that will by his good pleasure. What I mean by that is there's something God wanted in his heart. You know, God also has desires. He had a desire in his heart which when fulfilled will give him pleasure. Hmm? So it was because he wanted pleasure that he decided to will a thing. All right? And what was his will? He wanted children that were in the image of his firstborn son, Jesus Christ. Right? He wanted to adopt children. Children that look like Jesus. So as far as the is economy of sons are concerned, the prototype son is Jesus. And he wanted people like him. Now, so everything God has done, he has done because of that end point. Just in case you have the calling of a prophet today, that calling of the prophet will put you on a path of suffering and affliction that will eventually make you look like Jesus. If you have the call, calling of an evangelist, it's not the service. Thank God for the service. But the service will expose you to problems that will make you see how much you need God and you will look for him. That's if you want to fulfill it. You, will be, you are trying to fulfill ministry. He is trying to make you through your challenges. So if when he sees that, uh, no, this guy won't end up like Jesus. He will bring problems. Then you will find him more. And then you receive ordinations and deposits more that eventually you will turn out like so as you are trying to achieve something, he is trying to bring you into conformity. And all of this is according to the counsel of his will. And the counsel of his will is the wisdom that he put in motion on the strength of that which he has willed. Now I'm showing you things that are larger than doctrine. Stronger than faith. Will, his will, his good pleasure. The counsel of his will. These are immortal things within immortal context. And that a great man rose cannot change this. These are immovable mountains in the economy of God. Go on to the next verse. So, this is where I'm going. And just like I said in the book of Ephesians, sometimes the, the, the first things are last and the last things are first. If you don't, if the Holy Spirit doesn't help you to see it, you crack your brain and it doesn't make sense. This is the mechanism. This is the fuel. This is what he put in place to ensure that what he predestinated comes to pass. He said to the praise and glory of his will, of his grace. So grace is glorified within the context of God's expectation as the facility by which to be actualized. It is because of this gargantum plans, these, these ambitious expectations of God that he now formulated grace as the fuel 
that will ensure its actualization. Within eternal perspective and eternal context, grace is that facility that we feed on, that we work on for the fulfillment of things predestinated. It's not an excuse for sin. It's a fuel for life. So the next time you hear preachers, you have to sieve them according to custom papers. Joseph Prince knows the Bible very well. And if you don't know what he's doing with the Bible, you'll not know that he is a dangerous, he's, he's preaching doctrinal diseases. Yes, he knows the Bible very well. You see, when a man that knows the Bible very well decides to deviate from kingdom perspective, he becomes a very strong tool of delusion. And we are not saying that to make you think we are right. If it is true that we are right, the Holy Spirit will bear witness in your spirit beyond my lingo. These three aspects. The gospel of the glory of God. For it is God that causes the light to shine out of darkness. And he has in this day shined from our hearts to give the light of the glory of the Lord that was upon the face of Jesus. There are, there are things, there are mysterious kingdom things that Jesus manifested that we have as part of our heritage that we should be aspiring to enter into because it's our allocation and our portion and our inheritance in the setup of God and in Christ Jesus. Now, we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. We don't have time. But I believe I also believe that before our time is up. Because it's on the strength of this scripture that the Bible says, and the knowledge of the glory of the Lord shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. Now, the glory of the Lord is the Holy Spirit. He's here. But the knowledge of his ways that is lacking. Now, when we have knowledge, more knowledge of his ways, we enter into his civilization, into his economy, and then into his technology. Uh, uh, just like John the Baptist had revelations of the kingdom of God and he preached it and emphasized it, people understood it, people entered into it. The knowledge of the glory of God will become, will become predominant and people will understand the technology by which he created, the technology by which he raises the dead, the technology by which he does the things he does and then suddenly you begin to see mortals operating as if they were the creator. That day will come before this civilization is wound up. The sons of God they will be made manifest again. That's where we are going. And I believe God that a measure of that will find expression in our lifetime. Amen. Now, so, 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 are you with me? All right. This is where I was headed in all of this, my talk. History is to God. Did you get that? So it is possible for you to be doing something outside of what directly assists God's purpose. Now, come back to the script. What I read that created challenge. Because the response had to take me back to my library. I had to excavate the parchments, the, the coordinates. I had to set them again to check my doctrine first. Am I okay? I brought tools. All right, because Watchman Nee was my mentor. So he showed me how to find out if you are already becoming a prodigal, if you are under the influence of the spirit of apostasy. Uh, so I had to test the chemicals I used in the lab. And I found out that the, 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 the customs are still right. <laughs> Listen to me. Let me read the problem of controversy. I pray you will add grow denomination. That's my prayer. You will grow. You'll be bigger than it. So that even if and the reason why you'll be in a place is that Baba sent you. To be part either to the people are accurate and you are part of the structure to see that the corporate vision is realized, or the place has lost its heritage and you are sent there as a missionary. Everybody should know why he's where, where he is. It's not as if we are just there. We are running the race to meet my don't just run. Before you start, ask, where are we going? <coughs> because after 15 years of running, you just find out. 
we were on the road. <coughs> we never arrived at the place. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Now, let me get back to that statement. I'll just round up because time is gone. Okay. Ah. Hear me again. The heavenly move will be accomplished on earth only when God is assured of the same will on earth. This is what we call the ministry of the church. The heavenly will will be accomplished as long as God is assured of the same will on earth. It happens to be that in the establishment of the kingdom of God on earth, the church is the instrument through which such an establishment will find expression. And the purpose for which the church exists, even though there are many things that pertain to our reality, we are talking about the doctrinal basis for our ministry as a church and also our prayer ministry as a church. Right? The basis for our prayer ministry is to be the agency by which synchrony and harmony can be achieved with the perspective that is sustained in heaven. Okay? Yeah, because God will not do that which he wills to do in heaven on earth, except the earth wills it. So, the church doesn't have a will of our own. The purpose for which the church exists is alignment with the will of God. We provide the will element on earth that will make God powerful on earth. Are you with me? Now, so, it is, it is, it is, it, it is tantamount to dislocation for any local expression of the body of Christ for that matter to run on a scale that is inconsistent with the present revelation position of the spirit. Are you with me? Any philosophy that is the basis upon which our strategy is established must be a philosophy that is held in heaven and we are aligned with that philosophy we become an infrastructure through which that philosophy can find expression but you see are you with me now are you you are here okay let me give you an example before we move on now every year most of the time early you are you get you are you understanding what i'm saying well please be telling mommy tell him when you get it you tell mommy it's all right when when during the year in the month of january every ministry comes up this is what god has said the year of what's your own what breaking forth breakthrough um from glory to glory break eh? <laughs> yeah you see there is no way according to gideon there is no way that we can be in agreement as touching the year. <laughs> you know what? We are a product of disalignment. Most of our positions evolved out of a desire that is not the will. So you always have a different position from the will. If all of us are erected as structures, that derive our essence from alignment with the sovereign will, we will hear the same thing. Yes, we will hear the same thing, but there will be different ministries. Because there are diversities of ministries, but it's the same Lord. There will be different ministries. There will still be evangelists. There will still be teachers. There, will, there probably might be different churches in different... Alright? But we will not be denominations. We will just be territorial agencies of government. Are you following that now? Now, so that is a proof that there is a dislocation. Our generation is supposed to answer the question of that dislocation. And that's why we must grow beyond the psychology of denomination. It doesn't exist in the kingdom. I'm not saying stop going where you're going and just say grow beyond these, these games. And then get, know how to set your heart to seek God. When, then you'll be able to know how relevant that pulpit is in the delivery of God. Your discernment will start picking. You will not know whether you are dislocated yourself from your destiny or in alignment with your destiny. 
because you know where to look. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why the church exists to provide the alignment with the will of heaven that occasions God to be able to do his will and be righteous in so doing. Then I made a statement which I want to emphasize and close. I said many devotional prayers and frequent requests cannot be a substitute for the prayer for prayer as a ministry or a work. Prayer as a work or a ministry means we stand on God's side desiring what he desires. We stand on God's side and we do what? We desire what he desires. Every ministry is territorial in shape. You will carry the burden of the territory that you are domiciled in. You will, you will war with the spirit that is in that territory trying to resist the civilization that God wants to bring. Hallelujah. And just in case, in the ministry where you attend, what they teach every month comes from Lagos, from headquarters. So even if Boko Haram is ravaging this region, you have to teach what headquarters has given. That's a height of fracture and disalignment. Because there's a problem in the government procedure of that system. It is the, the increase in its growth is the increase in his level of disalignment. And the prism through which he sees is a prism of error. And the eye view that he makes available is an eye view that actually occasions departure from alignment from the king of kings and the lord of lords. And the king comes. And in our generation, there are high expectations. How is it that Pa Elton could rise as a prophet? I heard that they brought him to Boko. And he, he, he was Boko, all right? He pulled his shoe and stood on the ground. And he entered into the book of Boko in heaven and began to download the things that will come to pass in Boko. How, who, which Bible school raised him? Which church did he attend to become like that? That is a son. He is bigger than the battles of denomination and flesh that we fight. He is an infrastructure for a kingdom that is eternal. And the thing he was reading from is not a book of the earth. It's the book of nations. He was entering into it, giving perspective to generations yet to be born. How did that prophet rise? Was he from Assemblies of God? No. So is it that we cannot have pure breeze of that sort? Where did Bonke come from? Reinhard Bonke. Where did he come from? From the moon? Bronke is such an evangelist that is an evangelist even in minister's conference. He, he, he gave altar call in the minister's conference and pastors came to give their life to Christ. That, that is who he, he, you don't understand this. <laughs> you, know, you, don't, you don't get it. He is, he's, he's an evangelist. He's helplessly an evangelist. Which denomination raised him? Because it doesn't look like Baptist. It doesn't look like Methodist. That's his son in a kingdom. By the time John was speaking, and he said, that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which we looked upon, our hands have handled, it was no longer a fisherman that was talking. No, sir. No, sir. It was a son in the kingdom. Yes, sir. Now, with all of this cloning and psychology that is taking place, when will a man like John on the Isle of Patmos rise? with the visions of God and disclosures of our destiny. I don't want to end up as a cricket because a lizard in Nigeria will not become an alligator in the United States of America. <laughs> if you are a lizard here, that's how you really are. So what he says, when I go, when I go to London, that's when the ministry will start. He tried ministry here four times. The thing closed. I say, hey, it's London, it will happen. His story will be like Naomi. <laughs> ah, Baba will help us. Let me let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. What what moved me was I had a feedback yesterday, so I had to go into my archives to bring a fuller picture. That's what we are talking about. Ministries that are expression of a will of God 
And the fact that you have a will of God on your side is not enough. You will fight to maintain yourself within that will. Everything on earth will fight to, to ensure that you are deviated. Everything. And there's nothing that the devil will rejoice about more than a, a mighty prophet rose, a prophet to the nations, and suddenly doesn't have a voice. And maybe at that time, the ministry has blossomed. There's so much money. You have all, any car you want to drive, you already have it, but you are no longer a stakeholder in God's scheme of things, in your territory, in your nation. How many cars did Elton leave behind? How many cars? He was so proud of Idahosa. That was his son. He, he, he languished. He spent his, his days with. And when, when somebody else grew up in the nation that understood, he knew his time had come. Hallelujah. And he also, though he planted, he had a denomination, didn't live for one. His checks were in Methodist church. In his checks were in, were in Anglican church. He, 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 he lived for a kingdom. That's how I want to live. Like a colossus. A time should come when people want to hear God, they should know where to go. Because they'll be tired of, people are tired of the politics. In Lagos, you know what happens? When they do Holy Ghost service, their redemption camp. When they do uh, Shiloh, the same crowd is in Ogun State, is in, is in Ota. When they do the one in Matthew of Fire, the same crowd, the same crowd. You know what that means? Denomination is no longer sufficient. Mm, so people sneak. That if it's this thing we follow, we won't get home. This is this utterance is by the way. They, even the locals know. So they they try to mix and say, which one? How come? Denomination is failing. I have to tell you that. And something fresh and something new must rise. An altar, a testimony that speaks only truth. People that fear God, voices of their kingdom. People that understand what the grace of God is. And that the nations must receive a witness that is true. To this end, is the Lord seeking among the young ones. Seeking among the women. Because I see a coalition of, of, of young people and women. To redeem the heritage of God that has been lost in the land. So that perspective, so that the fear of God can rise again. And society and government and nations can know that within their nation is an institution. An institution that does not survive by the economy. That owns an estate. An estate that is governed by God himself. Friends, do not live for a lie. A denominational lie. We have been part of that battle. It's an old war. It never ends. But the kingdom calls you. Let your platform be the kingdom, the address of the kingdom in your city. When men are tired of frivolities and they want to hack into God, let your voice be that conduit by which nations will find direction. The days of men are over. In their might and in their power, they are over. They have been measured in the balances and found wanting. Now a day of the saints, the day of the saints arises. Can you commit yourself to the vision of his majesty? As he walks from among the nations. He plants his vision in the hearts of men in the hearts of women to overtake the entire landscape in that day the witchcraft that is in our territory will be measured and it will be nothing because God would have risen and his enemies will scatter we have exalted the devil for too long it is time for the church of God to rise Recovery will begin with you and with me. You will become that tool by which he will extend his hand. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. 
the whole earth is full of your glory door for me. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. Sing, we wait. We wait on you. song one more time. We wait on you. We wait on you. hand in a direction. That the spirit of God will invade that nation. That the spirit of God will invade that land. She traveled all the way to be here so that she can contact the fire that is in Africa. She's not going back the same. The hand of God the hand of God will descend upon her nation. Let that for which she came, let it be delivered. 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 Let it be delivered.
There's a wind that I don't want us to enter now. We wait on you. That's why we live. We live to give expression to him. We live to give expression to his will. Our life is not our own. It's only reasonable for us to give it up to God. That's why we live. That he may be seen. That he may be glorified as he manifests through us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Sorry, we are out of time. We have to shut down now. So that we can reconvene by 4 o'clock. And you have time to eat. Some will rest a little. Some might continue with the prayers. Just anything. But God will help. I want you to cast a seed to help us with some administrative issue. So, you sit down. Sit down. The offering baskets will go around. Um... You are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Please let the offering baskets go around. We'll reconvene by 4 o'clock and uh, it will be a flight. It will be a flight. Just a flight. A flight. A flight. When we reach high altitude, everybody will be given a parachute so that you experience the way of the wind all by yourself. It won't be corporate. You experience it where you are and where where God will meet you. Hallelujah. Cast the seed. We intend to build the bulwarks of truth so that in our generation error we die a natural death. That's 100 by 100 in 36 places. The expectation is that uh, by next year we'll not be here. We'll be under a large tent. And you won't need to travel somewhere. You'll be there. We'll have a cafeteria where you eat. And we'll, do, we'll bring Satan down. We'll bring him down from where. You know, Jesus said, and I beheld Satan falling like, like, like lightning. When the true church begins to emerge, Satan will not be an issue. Any day we rise up, he will fall like light. He has been enthroned because of the different psychological ideas that we have that cannot move anything in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. And so there's a camp there, and we're going to pick some delegates that will go and see it. We can't take everybody. We don't have just we have space for how much does how many people can that bus take? 15? Not, not 16, 15. Abby? We will take just 15 people to go and view the place. 15 people. Um Ellie. Would have, I want to take you somewhere. Are you strong enough? All right. So you and your mom. Okay. Uh, then we 
take 15 people, just 15 people. You'll be notified if you are part of the voyage. We'll take pictures and then we'll bring it back and then we'll shoot it on the screen. So you don't need to be there. Please, you don't need to be there. We're just announcing because some people will be told to be part of the voyage. Glory. Hallelujah. Now, 4 p.m. we are going to check off. It's a flight. Just in case you have never touched God before. God has never come close to you for you to touch him before. From, from this night, that's where we are going. Yeah, we are taking a flight so that God can come close for you to touch him. Have you, if you have never seen him before, you have never seen his shape. All you hear about him is in the Bible. You have never seen his shape. Now, the Bible says we have received a spirit which is not of this world but a spirit which is of God that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God so there are several things you have entitlement through Jesus Christ to know is your right the atmosphere will be created for those things to come close to you so that you can touch it and just in case there's anybody here that the devil has been deceiving that you will soon die, you will soon die. Ah, ah, don't worry. There is a place that is surging with life. So much life that when you enter that environment, you don't need to bind death. Death turns backward. There are some illusions that come from the kingdom of darkness. Illusion. They, they look real. Ooh, it's because of where you are. You are still on the road. By the time we arrive at the place, you will not be the one searching for God again. God will search for you. Because God actually seeks for his own. He said, where is Abel, thy brother? You will come to a place where it's God that seeks for people. From this now. Gaining ascendancy. The experience. Prayer provokes and invokes an experience. That's where we are going. We are going into the context of reality. So get ready. Four o'clock will be the time. Don't miss the flight. It's time bound. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, so 18 people will be chosen. If you are not one of them, don't, don't worry. Just to go take pictures and come back. God bless you. God bless you. See you by 4 o'clock. Please stay back and eat for those of you that will be eating here. The rest, okay, okay. We'll, we'll. Ministers, that's your place. Especially ministers that are from without town.